every anime genre explained in 12 minutes. Guys, what's your favorite genre? out of everything on screen right now. Shonen is one of the biggest anime genres, even though it's the most misunderstood, because it's not actually an anime genre. Shonen directly translates to boy. I love boys. Meaning that it's less of a genre and more of a demographic. And even though Shonen is technically targeted towards young boys, yep. a huge amount of people I'm a young boy and I love it. also consume a Shonen anime, making it a pretty useless distinction when trying to differentiate them. For example, Death Note and Chainsaw Man are both published in Shonen Man. These are for the boys! This is for the men! No girls allowed! I'm joking, I'm joking. Magazines, making them- Live, live loves Chainsaw Man. Both I feel like Chainsaw Man caters towards women more than guys, to be honest with you, bro. She loves Chainsaw Man. Technically shonen, even though their tones and themes couldn't be Love farther Love this song apart. in the background. This makes shonen a very nebulous term when describing anime. But anime fans will still use shonen as a genre. But when you hear this, you can assume that they are used- Yeah, so when you guys say I love shonen, you're basically saying you love boys. So you're all gay. Actually talking about battle shonen. This is an actual genre because it does consist of shonen anime where the primary focus is on battles, usually with superhuman abilities what is like blood Minor talking about? or Bleach. The first modern battle shonen that popularized the genre would probably be Dragon Ball. Examples of great battle shonen that follow in Dragon Ball's footsteps would be Hunter x Hunter or Naruto. Hunter x Hunter is better. Examples of more mature shonen would be Full Metal Alchemist or Death Note. Comedy anime are all about making you laugh, but you should get a- I don't know how I feel about comedy anime yet. I don't know how I feel about it. I mean, I haven't even watched it yet. I watched like two episodes of Gintama out of context, or one episode, I'm not sure. I think it was two. And I don't know what else. I guess Spy Family? Is Spy Family a comedy? It was cute. Bad rep from the anime community for, well, not making us laugh, but it's important- <laughs> All right, I gotta watch Gintama, bro. What the fuck am I looking at? I guess JoJo has a lot of comedy in it. Spy Family's a slice of life. I to remember life. that as yeah. English viewers, we lose a lot of context when an anime- Who the fuck would say this is boring? That's the coolest shit I've ever seen. I'd rather ride on that man than any snowboard anime ever. He's translated. Or any Sometimes bike. Japanese humor relies on wordplay to inject humor- Where are the subs? <laughs> look, it's all the dub haters. Wait, I don't look like that to an exchange, which can often get lost on us. Another gripe anime fans have with a lot of comedy anime is that they'll heavily rely on a single joke with ch Oh, boo-hoo! Changes only happening to the surrounding context. I mean, I get it, I get it. There's only so many times something could be funny. There's some animes, you guys could probably tell me which one it is, right? Which ones I'm talking about. Where it's like, okay, it was funny the first time, and then they do it again, and then they do it again. And then every time they're on screen, they do it again, and again, and again, and again. I fucking get it. I get it. I fucking get it. I get it. You're quirky. Black Clover did that a lot. It did it a lot. Like, I get it, bro. You love food. All right, Charmy? You love food. I wanted a choker. Oh, my God. Okay, Luck. I get it. You love to fight. All right? The only one that kept hitting was Gordon from Black Clover. That shit had me... Dying every time he was on screen. That was actually funny. They could have kept that going because there were so many things you could have done with that. You know what I mean? But when you, you're luck and you just love fighting, it's like, oh god, shoot me, bro, shoot me. One Piece. I mean, One Piece. Yeah, with Sanji. Like, oh, Nami Swan. Like that. Like, I get it. I get it. You love Nami. Ah, oh, yeah, little titties. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It could get a little repetitive sometimes. Zenitsu, Nezuko chan. <laughs> like, I get it. Like, <laughs> extra situation. But this isn't always a bad thing. Examples of good comedy anime that focus on a single punchline are One Punch Man or Sakamoto Kun. One Punch Man is funny the entire fucking time. Examples of other it. good comedy anime that it. don't rely on a single joke would be Nichijou or Psyche K. Sanji isn't Seinen annoying. It's no. a much less recognized term Seinen. to most casual anime viewers, but it essentially just translates to youth, as in it is targeted towards I love Seinen. young adults. Specifically, see? So if y'all like, if y'all like, uh, 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 Shonen, you like boys. And if you like Seinen, you like the youth. So you put that together. Adult males. Seinen is again not a genre, but instead a demographic. for the An men. Easy way to tell yeah, yeah. Shonen's for the boys. Seinen are the men. Manga is published in the a youth. Seinen magazine is if they directly use the word young. One of the most widely known Seinen manga, young Berserk, animal. was originally published in a mag. What the fuck is this? Is that guts? Or am I stupid? Why is he smiling like that? What? 
So you like young boys, Nick? Exactly. That's what I said. That's guts. Scene called Damn. Animal, yeah, he looks which sexy. Often contains pinups uh. along chapters. <laughs> you just have some Asian girl's titties all over the the fucking magazine cover, and then guts right in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> of the manga because Satan and manga are targeted oh towards an God. older audience they often deal with much darker beautiful i love lines. slavery examples of this movies. are vinland saga where themes of revenge and slavery are prominent the men! Sir, which is personally my favorite thing of all time yeah. sci-fi is an anime genre with a heavy <laughs> emphasis <laughs> on technology <laughs> or futuristic elements and it is significant nothing beats cowboy bebop's backgrounds i said it Significantly different the... from Western sci-fi. Sci-fi used to be a very popular genre in anime, most likely originating with the anime Astro Boy. Guys, However, what's your favorite sci-fi anime? Sci is widely Mine regarded is Cowboy to be Bebop. in the 80s and 90s, meaning that many anime fans aren't well versed in the best sci-fi anime, including Akira, Ghost in the Shell, and da -da 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 Cowboy Bebop. It's worth noting that shows like these popularized the cyberpunk genre across the world, yeah. which is why I I've been hearing about these animes since I was a kid, bro. Point you towards Never cyberpunk them. edge runners if you're looking for a modern sci-fi cyberpunk was so fucking good too oh god wait a minute Nah, i liked cyberpunk more than uh cowboy bebop i admit it i'm not gonna lie about that redline movie anime. slice of life i want to watch controversial Science genre among anime fans that Why? most avoid because a lot of people where's the action in this slice of life <laughs> in everyday life there's always ninja swords and fucking guns and bombs find it boring the general idea but don't y'all know what you're getting is, into like the name implies to capture a slice of someone's regular day-to-day -day life it's usually characterized by a much slower pace you don't go into a preschool expecting it to be a fucking gun range with more emphasis on what we would consider Unless mundane it's, uh, experiences. America, Some I don't people know. think that slice of life means no development happens across the series, but that's not necessarily true. Oftentimes, the genre is paired with comedy, drama, or romance. Look at this. Look, this is so cute. Why is there a... Yeah, Americans do, exactly. Um, why is there a deer in the classroom? <laughs> this looks fun! Nishi Joe. That's early fun. slice of life anime that were very influential include Azuma Kadayo, Hidamori Sketch, and Lucky Star. If you want a modern slice of life, yep, this is me, guys. Lucky Star has my name written all over it. Life to enjoy, I would recommend He's Kobayashi a Dragon good. Maid or Nun Nun Bjorn. I heard about Romance Dragon Maid. Is another controversial oh, genre yeah, because it often me. takes <laughs> way too long for anything to actually happen relationship wise, but this can be chalked up to cultural differences. In Western. Yeah, I had to understand that myself. Like, oh, don't tell me. The girl's gonna be thirsting over the guy the whole show. The guy is gonna be like unaware of it, and then they're never gonna kiss or hug. Maybe at the very end, and we won't even see it. But then I have to realize it's cultural differences, you know? In a Western romance, they're fucking upon first glance. Like he's right, like she's ri riding just, just doggy style with the guy upon first look. In Japan, it's different. Western shows, the romance you know, genre isn't necessarily a. You ain't fucking on sight about whether the couple will get together. It's about if their relationship will stand the test of time. But with romance anime, it's more often about if their relationship will happen Fuck Western at all. Western relationships. Why, oftentimes, Except mine. And maybe one of yours. Sometimes a romance anime will take its time getting the main characters together. There are also many Love common it. tropes in which a person mishears the other confession, causing the entire relationship dynamic to be reset. This can be frustrating. <laughs> Guy named you. Trading and personally, I hate the trope too. So if you want some good romance anime, that's still. I hate that. Oh God, I fucking. That's one trope that annoys me. It's annoyed me since I was a fucking kid with 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 movies and game. Not even games. Movies, TV shows where something's about to happen and oh oh wait wait wait. wait. There goes the school bell. Mm. Take a while to develop, but don't use those tropes. Check out Kaguya Sama Hate or Golden shit. Time. If you want a romance anime that's more akin to Western TV shows, check out Horimiya. Although I will say that I think the manga is better. Isek I'll stay away from Horimiya. Horimiya. Kai literally translates to There's our favorite character, Rudy. We all want to be like him when we grow up. The world. It's technically a subgenre of fantasy that revolves around a My person hero. from our world being transported Fuck into a group. fantasy one. This can happen through many different ways, but in Isekai, it usually happens using a portal or reincarnation. Or Amiya's good. All right, so I'm stupid. Maybe I'll give it a watch. While many people think of Isekai as a modern genre, it's actually a very old genre. The idea of going to another world was always a popular one. I mean, think about it. Alice in Wonderland came out in 1860. Bro, Japan loves their Isekais. Oh my god. Like, I knew that was a concept before I watched the anime. 
but I didn't know it was this much of a fucking concept. Five, really the first isekai, if you ask me. I didn't know it was this much of a big deal. Like, they love it easily. There's a thousand made this year, probably. But if we're talking about modern isekai anime, the originator can actually be traced back to Zero Nusukaima, which helped popularize Naru K web novels. If you want to learn more about the history of modern isekai, check out the video I made on that subject. But basically, Zero Nusukaima fanfiction is actually what inspired light novels like Re Zero, which in turn inspired stories like Mushoku Tensei. However, the popularity of adapting light novels into anime really began. The weakest tamer began a journey to pick up trash. Yep, if I was writing a book, that would be the title. And with Sword Art Online and its huge success, despite the fact that SAO isn't really an isekai to begin with. Actually, good manga there? I bet it is. Fantasy is a very all there it is, free term room. for any story with fantastical elements. This means that it can actually include I love fantasy, fantasy as a genre. like Hunter x Hunter or Full Metal Alchemist, but it also includes high fantasy. Our favorite fantasy, Demon Slayer, obviously like free run it covers dark fantasy like claymore or Berserk, all of you believe that historical fantasy Look! like demon slayer or demon slayer Alpha. our favorite well, fantasy we tend to think of fantasy is mainly just high fantasy this is because god lord of the rings oh love it best god tier because i've watched every second of lord of the rings have i read the books nope i watched every second of the hobbit too unfortunately no, nah, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the Hobbit. Tolkien's work have been so influential to Bite art. Me. In I anime, did. fantasy usually takes inspiration from a many number of things. So in a certain sense, you could say that fantasy is one of the biggest genres in anime as a whole. And for that reason, it's hard to give a... Boruto better than Lord of the Rings? I agree. Specific organization deeper, deeper for the genre. Shoujo is another demographical term and not go. necessarily a genre. It's for the ladies. It directly translates to girl. So we shoujo, shoujo anime are more often targeted towards <laughs> younger girls. Shoujo anime tend to be romances or dramas, but a big subgenre that emerged from shoujo is the guys. What's the best girl shoujo genre, anime? Where girls transform into superheroes with magic powers. We love our magical girls. One of the first girls. examples of a shoujo anime is Sally the Witch. Who Sally the Witch, the original witch is technically a magical girl. However, not all magical girl anime are shoujos, as again, shoujo is a demographic and not a genre-defining term. Other uh, important shoujo anime include The Rose of Versailles and Sailor Moon. If I had to pick a shoujo series that acts as a sort of- Listen, man. Sailor Moon came out the wrong time for me. I would've never watched this as a kid. This is just Barbie. It's like Japanese Barbie. I'm like, I would've never watched this shit, bro. Maybe now, maybe I'll do Sailor Moon reactions. We'll be sailors originating point for modern shoujo i might pick fruit baskets or why is she sitting on ichigo's head sailor moon is she the basket or is he the basket and she's the fruit but to be honest as a guy i don't really watch much shoujo and i'm pretty unqualified to talk about this in particular so if <laughs> see guys if you're a guy you can't watch shoujo i said it I decided that. If anyone in the comments has a better idea of what series really popularized modern shoujo, let me know. Anyway, recommendations for modern shoujo that I enjoy would be Yona of the Dawn and My Next Life as a Villainess, which is actually a new subgenre of isekai that involves someone entering the world of a dating sim for women. What if I just become- oh my god, okay. What if I just become a shoujo channel? I drop all the shonen, which is pretty much 100% of the things I'm reacting to right now, <laughs> and I just pick up shoujo. Watch Sailor Moon. And everything else. How about we do that, guys? Nicholas Shoujo TV. But as the villain, I also suspect that this villain has subgenre will basket? continue yeah. to grow. Jose is another demographical term, but Jose. it translates to woman, meaning that most. Jose is like the seinen of uh, seinen, semen of uh, uh, manga. Most Jose anime are targeted towards adult women. However, like shonen and seinen, the lines between shoujo and Jose are very this blurry. This is for the In women! Fact, the thumbnail for this video uses Nana as a- Yeah, where's the trans genre? Jose anime, but Nana is actually a shoujo anime because it was published in a shoujo magazine. Now, the reason I still put in the thumbnail is because I haven't actually watched any major Jose My God, anime. This is the mature shoujo anime I've tried. That being said, I can't give any great recommendations, so this I'm just using like my, my type, endless my cup of tea. And Using that good modern Jose anime to try with. I think, yeah, Mineta's watching Shoujo and Josie. Would be Chihaya Furu and Rakugo Shin. I've heard about these. No, I heard about the first one. Chihaya Furu. Ju. I've heard about Sports that. Sports anime is one of the oldest Fuck and yeah. long-lasting Fuck yeah! I would have never watched this if y'all told me to. school or you told me not sports to. team and their Coded Because shit. sports anime are very widely based on the sport itself, they are all pretty different. Bang. But Bang. if I were to point Bang. to a show that exemplifies Bang. modern Bang. sports anime, Bang. it yeah. is Slam Dunk. The Slam Dunk. Fuck yeah, bro. I can't wait to watch my next sports anime. Manga single-handedly increase the popularity of basketball across Japan. Oh and in the same vein, Haikyuu has done the same for men's volleyball across Japan. Yeah, man, nobody gave a fuck about volleyball. Then look, yo, Haikyuu's either one, two, three, four, five, and yeah, 
This is nowadays. I don't blame them, bro. They all want to be like Hinata. They all want to be the next Suki. The next Yamaguchi. The next Daichi. Japan. These are the next Shugawara, the, the next Asahi. Anime, though. And it's worth noting that there are more unreal six sports. Anime. I want to watch Slam Dunk. What the fuck is this? This guy having a <laughs> this guy having a spaz attack? Oh my god! Where characters border on the line of superhuman, Prince of Tennis, and <laughs> wait a minute, could Uncle Basketballo has superpowers? Oh, it's a ping pong anime. My my favorite. That's probably the goaded sports anime, to be honest with you, bro. I didn't know there was, like, super superhuman shit in Basket and Kuroko. Kuroko no Basket are good examples of shows like this, where characters are pulling oh, off insane wait. moves that aren't usually possible. If you want a good modern sport... This motherfucker's gonna fly, isn't he? Kuroko, bro. Ah, 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 and just fucking slam dunk the ball. Sports anime, I would personally recommend Blue Block, although I think the manga is better. Echi is a slang term in the Japanese language. Echi? Oh, so like hentai. That means different things in different contexts. Hentai. It can be an adjective meaning sexy. Hentai. Be naughty, it can be a Nobody verb says my... to have sex. No. It can even be Come a noun on. where someone is basically. It's hentai. Etchy as a genre is. Yeah, etchy. We're all etch etching. Characterized by hypersexualized moments in a show, often dubbed as fan service, <laughs> where the plot will bend backwards to force yep. its characters Oh, it's bending back. Yep, 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 yeah, bro. It doesn't mean lift. Positions. Although shows can have a little bit of fan service wow. and not being etchy, when a show regularly shows these scenes to the viewer or places emphasis on the sexual themes in the show, it qualifies as an etchy. Now, it's worth noting that etchy isn't really a genre you'll find on it. This is for all my Malukis out there. Zone because if you only wanted sexual content in a show, then well, you might as well watch hentai. All right, guys, I just got these brand new headphones. Mecca is a oh my god, what the fuck? That's high school DXD scenes. Yeah, remember when you were in high school and, and you did this and, and you did this? The good the old days, bro. Bend back, the good old, yeah, yeah, bro. I remember good character. old high school. Me, 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 and uh, and uh, my best friend, uh, Matt. I remember this. It qualifies yep. as good sexual content in a show. The good old then, days. Well, you might as well watch hentai. All right, guys, I just got these brand new headphones. Mecha <laughs> is a very old subgenre of sci-fi that's all about giant robots. A big reason that it's gotten so popular. I don't know if I'll ever be in the Mecha. I don't know. It's just too much to me. Um, I mean, Code Geass, I guess, but it was different. It was because of the toys that were marketed towards Japanese citizens. In Mecha, there are two main subgenres: super robot and real robots. Super robots often refer to super-sized, impossible-looking mechas, while real robots- AOT is the flesh mecha? No, it ain't. Try and match it ain't mecha! Get the rotation. fuck out of here! Gundam, super robots were the most popular subgenre, but mobile suit Gundam- Attack on Titan is a slice of life! a revolution in the mecha genre popularizing the real robot. However, that wasn't the end of the super robot genre. Evangelion popularized the super robot genre once again. And although the mecha genre is still widely popular, owing favor- nah, I ain't thinking about it, bro. Attack on Titan is my favorite harem. To super harem. fans who buy and build Gunplas, its popularity has definitely dwindled in the last decade. If you want recommendations of solid mecha shows today, I would- God, look at all this, bro. Mobile Suit Gundam, Gundam Z, Gundam Mobile Suit Gundam Z, Mobile Suit Gundam something else, uh, Gundam 0080, Gundam 0083, Gundam F91, uh, Mobile Suit Gundam V, 08 Steam Gundam, Gundam EC, Gundam Suit Origin, Gundam Thunderbolt, Twilight Axis, Gundam VT, Hathaway, uh, and Hathaway. I would recommend you Evangelion and one of my all time favorites, Code Geass. More modern iterations of Gundam that are supposedly good are Iron Blood Orphans and The Witch from Mercury. Iron Blood Orphans? I've heard about that. The music I've heard of anime genre is a little bit of a good thing. Here we go, Bochi the Cock! Many of us associate the music genre with musicals where characters will break out into song and dance. Yeah, fuck Frozen, bro. I want to watch Bochi. Dance like in Disney. Y'all love Bochi! But from my knowledge, there are very few anime that are actual musicals, which is probably a cultural difference. When music is heavily used in an anime, it's because the anime's focus is they don't have musical theater in japan really don't they do like one piece plays and 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 re-zero plays and 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 naruto plays and and chainsaw man porn p plays and on music itself so it's better to think of music as a genre like stage sports, plays where the yeah. main characters are usually involved in making the music not musicals i guess but then again when i went to disney they had musicals but then again they don't have to hire like Japanese people at Disney. It's very different at Disney. Disney's its own thing. 
themselves. He's talking Popular about musical anime shows. Music oh, genre okay. include Love Live, which started the anime idol trend. Love hey Live, on, which greatly I do. popularized the slice of life in music genres. And if you want a modern music anime that's mixed with comedy, I would really recommend Bochi the Rock. The harem genre is a. Here we go, harem. My life in another world with four thousand whores. Subgenre of romance that heavily focuses on polyamorous relationships. Nick, have you been in a Back to the Future musical? Not yet, bro. Me and my girl, me and Liv, me and my girl, me and Liv were supposed to go. We might. It's typically with one male and many females. Sometimes the genre is real? into a reverse harem, where the woman is a main character with multiple male love interests. Personally, I'm still waiting for the bisexual terror that is a mixed harem. But anyways, yeah, yeah. Well, how, how about we do? Um, a guy with all guys that want to fuck him. How about we do that, bro? Inclusivity. Really too scared to do that. Harem as a genre gained popularity. Like, like, like four guys like us, four girls love us. Bisexual harem. I want that, bro. I want it. They do two dating sim. That's just JoJo. <laughs> Leaders, which explains why most harem wow, anime Wow, look at this seven-year-old. Be based on visual novels. Channel. Most anime fans... Did that say Colonel Sanders? ...dating simulators, which explains why most harem anime used to be based on visual novels. Most anime fans look down on harem anime because they're pretty unrealistic in portraying how a boring... Yeah, that's realistic. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. At least 30 people in my chat right now live this life right now. Average guy can pull so many baddies, but let's be that's honest... That's what you get when you watch me. It's the vast majority Watching of Nicholas Light TV, you could be just like him. ...who want to self-insert with the main character. But at the same time, there are a good amount of harem... Here we go. All the dudes! This is like me in high school! ...anime that still use its premise to tell a compelling story. Cockfest! ...which often leads to something called a shipping war, where fans choose their best waifu in hopes that they end up with the main... Yeah, guys, who's your favorite 12-year-old? ...character, aka some of these people need to touch grass. <laughs> An anime that helps... Let people enjoy their genre! They want to watch harem, they want to... Act, act like they're they want to be in that anime they want to have waifu wars do it to create this trend and cause the harem genre to explode in popularity was love hina examples of modern shows that have a battle spoilers for what royale of baddies would be quintessential quintuplets if you want examples of a harem that i think oh my god i wish i was a quintuplet of theirs are genuinely good i would recommend the world only god knows and a hundred girlfriends just for ain't, ain't no god in this genre being a little more realistic. Oh wait, there is a god in 100 Girlfriends. Doesn't like a god wish make a wish with him or something or he rubs a genie or something? But also fun in the development of all the romances. If you found any mistakes in the video, leave a comment because as much as I've been watching- Naruto spoiler? When the fuck did he show Naruto spoiler? Wait, I want to see it. No, I don't. I don't know what you're talking about, bro. I didn't see anything. Thank God. Thank God I didn't see Just anything. Oh my God. Realistic, but also fun in the development of all the romances. If you Woo! found any mistakes in the video, leave a- Horan Ho High School Host Club. comment because as much as I've been watching anime, you know, damn near a decade now. Every anime trope explained in 10 minutes. You know what? I'm going to save this to watch later. This looks interesting. This was four days ago. Oh my God. I'm watching. I'm putting this to watch later. We're watching that tomorrow. Oh, I can't wait. This is going to be fucking fun, bro. <laughs>